Hey there guys, it's Stealth49er here with a tutorial on how to install the GLSL shaders mod for Minecraft 1.7.2. Then the first thing you want to do is go into your Minecraft launcher, and under any profile, select edit profile, and under use version, select release 1.7.2, and click save profile. Now click play, and this will just download a new version of Minecraft 1.7.2 for Forge to use. And then once you get to the menu, click quit game, and go into your web browser and go to the files.minecraftforge.net page, which is linked in the description. Now find the 1.7.2 latest, and click the installer, and wait for the adfly page to load, and once the skip add button comes up in the top right, click skip add. Now save it on your desktop, and go over to the shaders mod forum thread, which is linked in the description as well, and find the for Minecraft 1.7.2 section, and click the link here. Now this is a preview version currently, uh, so it will take you to a post, and it should say that it is for Minecraft 1.7.2, and then click the download link here, and wait for the skip add button to appear yet again. Now once it does, click skip add, and then click download, and save it on your desktop. And now go ahead and go to your desktop, and double click the Minecraft Forge installer. Make sure the install client radio button is selected, and click OK, and click OK again. Now go into your Minecraft launcher, and in the profile selection menu, select Forge, and click play to re-authenticate. And then it should say ready to play Minecraft 1.7.2 Forge and click play. And now you should see once you get to the menu, there are a few different things such as it says Minecraft Forge in the bottom left. And also there is a new mods tab and that's how you know that Forge is installed. And as long as it is, click quit game. And now on your keyboard, press the Windows key and the R key and type percent appdata percent and click OK. Now go into your .minecraft folder, and then your mods folder, and drag the shaders mod into the mods folder. Now you can close that window, now you want to go into your Minecraft launcher, and make sure the forge profile is selected, and click play. And once it loads up, on the menu you want to go to the options menu, and there you should have an extra shaders menu. So go to options, and shaders, and you can see that it does work. But the shaders mod does not actually come with uh, very good shaders, so you want to download a shader pack. Now, there's many different ones, and for this tutorial, I will be using Mr. Meep X3's shader pack. Uh, but first, you want to close Minecraft, go into your web browser, and I will leave a link to this if you'd like to download it. It is a very nice shaders pack. Now, you want to scroll down on the forum thread and just find the download link. And here is the download link for the newest version. And it'll take you to a Mediafire page or whichever other page might take you to an AdFly. But basically just navigate it and find the download link. And then you want to save it on your desktop. And then go to your desktop and on your keyboard press your Windows key and the R key and type percent %APPDATA% percent and click OK. Now go into your .minecraft folder and your shader packs folder and drag the shaders into the shader packs folder. Now you can close that window and go into your Minecraft launcher. And once it loads up, make sure the forge profile is selected. And once it loads up, you want to go to the options menu, then shaders, and select Mr. Meep's shaders and click done, and done, and go into a world, and we'll test it out. And as you can see, the shaders do work. It looks very nice. You have all the shader effects. And uh, that's really about it for this tutorial. Of course, if you have any questions, you can leave those in the comments below. If you did find this helpful, a like and a favorite would be greatly appreciated. And also, sharing the video does really help me out. If you are not already, make sure you follow me on Twitter, like the Facebook fan page, and follow me on Google+. All of the links are down in the description below. And if you're new to the channel and you do enjoy daily gaming tutorials and reviews, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching.